Good afternoon. Cigar Review 37. Christoph Shade Grown. This is the Robusto size. 5.5 inch 54 ring gauge. Gorgeous cigar. I mean, it looks good now, but on my first take of this video, I actually lit the just stunning shaggy foot of the cigar. It had a nice cap on it that I cut off. Uh, but alas, I had a bunch of helicopters go over, which drowned me out for a solid 30 seconds. So, take two, the cigar is already lit because I can't light it twice. It's a beautiful cigar. I love Kristoff. I think they're phenomenal value. This particular cigar is kind of funny. So, they call it the Kristoff Shade Grown. <sighs> Apparently, Kristoff has not confirmed this, but the rumor on the street from the insider experts is that all they did was they got an old cigar, an existing cigar, the Christoph Britannia Reserva, right? The Britannia Reserve, and just renamed it. They literally just stuck a new label on it. Which is fine, right? I reuse collateral in my job all the time, uh, but I like the old name better, right? That's, that's, that's such an amazing name. As someone that flies a British flag outside of my house, I wish they had kept it, but regardless, this is a great cigar. Uh, it lights really easily because it has this nice shaggy foot, which helps it to kind of evenly go over the entire edge of the cigar. And it's great tasting. Not really your typical Connecticut shade. Ton, a ton, a ton of earthy notes. Now, the impression I got when I smelled it before I lit it was actually, if you've ever bought a full box of just uncut mushrooms, and you know, you've got kind of that dirt in there that you really need to wash off, if you were just a smell that box of mushrooms it kind of has that earthy mushroomy smell to it uh other reviewers said they got a little bit of vanilla when they were smelling it i mean I, I guess i could see how you get that not something that really stands out to me uh, but mostly it's just earthy notes on the actual you know smoking of the cigar itself um i get spice i get wood notes And definitely like, you know, paprika type spice. Almost like the sweet paprika that I use when I make this curried goat recipe that I like. Um, but it's great tasting. And the nice thing about the cigar uh, is it's, it's pretty mild. I do like the big black dark cigars. But recently, because I've been smoking a lot, as I <laughs> love doing these reviews, it's kind of nice to have a break, right? It's kind of nice to have a cigar where I don't have to uh, you know, drink some water when I'm done. So yeah, overall, absolutely fantastic. Uh, Cigar View 37, Kristoff Shade Grown, 5.5, 54 ring gauge. Um, and while I'm, while I'm talking, one other note kind of on the, on the strong versus weak and when I prefer one or the other, it was an option of doing this or another cigar that I knew was a lot stronger. One reason I picked this one is because I'm tired. I, I got a new puppy last night, so I didn't really sleep. Uh, so if I went without sleeping and I smoked a really strong cigar, I was going to feel like garbage for the rest of the day. Uh, so that's why I'm going with a really weak one, and I'm going to do another like, review of a tiny cigar later. So I don't want to smoke two big ones. Yeah, great cigar. Uh, draws well, smokes well, burns well, tastes great. No problems. If I had a nitpick, and this is just such a stupid nitpick, some people like to have their ash come out really long. The ash is breaking, so for those of you that for some reason are into having cigar ash that's that long, which I'm guilty of sometimes, maybe you went like that. But overall, nothing but a strong buy. I mean, and whenever I smoke a Kristoff, I go into it knowing that it's probably going to be a strong buy. But this was another great cigar, and I endorse it wholeheartedly.